Jerzy Skolimowski's return to directing and Poland may be seen as surprisingly subdued in aesthetic terms. Gone are the lively camera and breathless pace, instead we have still or slowly moving shots, resulting in one of Skolimowski's most conservative films. But when we realize that the main character is a marginalized, repressed man, once again it seems that the camera in Skolimowski's film is moving in accordance with the character who is, by the way, as usual, the outsider. Skolimowski's realistic observation of his life, presented to us in a masterful visual narrative requiring no words, is interspersed with retrospections, again breaking the linear storytelling. Before Skolimowski establishes Leon as the victim, we are seduced to think the worst of him. We see a former convict burning a human hand in the furnace and displaying an unhealthy obsession about Anna, a nurse working in a hospital. Indeed, we quickly realize that Skolimowski once again is balancing on the border between reality and fantasy, this time a fantasy of a man who is unable to make a genuine connection with a woman. Leon's obvious abuse of Anna, which can easily be called violence, comes from his own hurt and trauma, which is also Anna's experience. It's striking how, despite all the differences, Four Nights with Anna bears a resemblance to Deep End. Both films tell a story about tragic male fantasy and obsession. Both films tell a story about a woman who can only function as an object of desire or a victim of violence. Skolimowski presents Leon's point of view, which, given his abuse of Anna, is a risky ethical choice, especially in the context of contemporary discussions about women representation in cinema and different ways to portray victims and perpetrators. But eventually, Skolimowski gives Anna the platform to make her choice, to become independent, and that leaves Leon to confront with the emptiness of his life.